Hey, what's up guys? So this is Elon's motorcycle. We already had done a video on some motor upgrades that we did and exhaust upgrades. So if you haven't seen this video, go and watch that. This bike did very well with horsepower and in torque. So we decided to use an Evolution clutch pack and clutch hub. And also we're gonna go ahead and use an Evolution brand compensator wrap. So I wanna show you guys the difference of why we recommend to change your clutch pack and your clutch basket and stuff and what's the difference in between the stock one and the evolution brand all right so here we have the whole primary clutch hub assembly disassembled so a uh, quick tip if you guys are going to be doing this at home make sure you mark your chain on the outside so it can get installed and run the same direction so you guys don't wear it down any faster than it should so here is the factory compensating ramp so this thing doesn't have very many miles but you can see how it's pretty torn up there's even some kind of and one of these there's some pieces missing so here is the evolution brand of course made in the USA this is um, all steel here they are side by side so weight difference I think this one's a little heavier but there's a I've never seen one but there's a lot of reports out there where these things are breaking and cracking um, so yeah we would recommend you change it once you start getting pretty high on your horsepower and torque so here is the factory clutch hub and here is the evolution brand so st starter ring gear the gear for your primary chain is all steel. This is aluminum. So again, there's uh, reports out there where these things are breaking with high horsepower. So this is all steel. The starter ring gear, primary, and the hub itself is machined out of steel. You can see where the inner clutch hub is also steel. And then it has some speed holes to make it lighter. Clutch hub. Uh, aluminum it looks like some kind of casting so the pressure plate is also cast aluminum then machined and it takes three springs the aftermarket one the evolution one has six springs and is machined out of billet aluminum so this of course is going to be stronger than your cast aluminum so now we're going to go on to the clutches so here is the stock style clutches this may be maybe screaming or maybe factory I'm not sure but this one here you see the width of the fiber and here is the width if I can open this of the steel plate so if you compare them with our evolution brand way more contact surface look at the clutch fiber so this is the evolution brand way more contact surface more grabbing surface all right look at the steel plate so that is also superior on the evolution compared to your stock factory one so then we notice this thing has six springs this thing has three springs so what i'm going to do now is show you guys spring pressure on each spring at coil bind and so we can see the difference in between the evolution one now these also come of course different color but the color also means different pounds of pressure uh, the more pounds of pressure you put of course the harder it's going to be on your clutch lever but let me go ahead and show you guys the factory one first and then we'll go ahead and show you the evolution clutch spring pressure all right so here we have our trusty gyms tool and this is actually tool is to test valve uh, spring pressure so right now this is the factory one and you can see it's coil binded and the pressure is right around 120 pounds at coil bind so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this install the evolution brand okay so here we have again our gyms tool and you can see it's at coil bind and our pounds are right right are a little bit over or right at 180 pounds so the 
Evolution brand has 60 pounds of pressure more than the stock one. So if we really stop and think about it, we got six springs at 180 pounds, or we have three springs at 120 pounds. So once you start running these bigger motors, it's recommended to do something with your clutches. And this is a good brand, all made in the USA. And of course, really good quality work as well. Of course, we're gonna install our Trask primary derby cover so you can see this beautiful thing once it's installed. So we're gonna go ahead and install it and then uh, we'll let you guys see how it goes. So we just got the motorcycle up in the dyno, just did a couple of pulls. This is the old previous run with the stock factory clutch. You can see how bouncy it is. And you can see how it just straight down. So what I'm gonna do here, so I can try to show you guys the difference, kind of bear with me a little bit. And I wanna show you guys the difference in speed so this is the previous run okay and what we're gonna do is now this is the run after the clutch was installed so right there at almost at the beginning right around what 2200 no 2100 we're looking about 58 miles an hour after the clutch and before the clutch you're looking at 49 so what we're going to do is we're going to move it over here and so here we're looking at a difference quite a bit difference so the red one 142.17 miles an hour is right right under 6500 rpms so before the clutch, it went from here, that RPMs, to 6,500 RPMs, made 142 miles per hour. And after the clutch, very, very similar, went all the way to 169.85 miles per hour. So the clutch has made quite a bit of difference. You can see the graph. So yeah, in this case, the Evolution Clutch Pack did very, very well. So we just wanted to show you guys the difference to see is it worth the money? Well, this is the uh, evidence here. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. I know this video was a little long, but uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and we have a lot more cool videos coming soon. Thanks, guys.